Great. Um, can I also broadcast to Twitch at the same time? It's so one or the other. I don't know. Uh, either way. Um, did not record any of that, what I uh, did, which was essentially figure it out exactly how to um, uh, reference the end of the timeline correctly, which is what I had before, but specifically how to action it once it happens. So timeline ended, sure, and disconnected, sure, to this object, but then I have to say disconnect in order to act to uh, for lack of a better word right now, activate the second line or proceed with the sequence. So, um, so that was one. And then I also worked on, so essentially what I have, um, is this intro again, this button and whatnot needs to be scaled correctly. Cause this looks crisp and this does not, but continue. You are anger. You are the defender. Many people in this world will try to hurt your human. Many people will try to kill them. But you, anger, will defend them. Well, defend your human? I don't know. Uh, maybe them isn't the right words. Anyway, use your fire as strength. Do not let people hurt or disrespect your human. If they do, you must handle the threat immediately. They cannot be trusted. Other voices will try to help your human, but they are weak. If you fail, they will die. And it will all be all your fault. I think I'll remove the narrative for this part. This is your human. They will be the new king in five years. What do you say, Anger? What must the people do? Choose one. Even the buttons aren't, uh, the options aren't in their appropriate text. And then you sign on to protect. And you begin this. First of all, King should not be at this position. Go get him. Go get him. Well, it's my baby boy. It's my baby boy, Jariah Papaya, who's the cutest boy in the world. Yes, he is. Yes, you're a good boy. You're a good boy. You're a good boy. That's my good boy. That's my good boy. Who I love so much. Okay. Yes, my baby boy, yes. Yes. So, that uh, is an antithesis of it. Luckily, I was able to carry some of the BB code from um the dialog manager over to here so that's great even that works and again we'll actually have a limitation so it won't go off screen okay All right, cool. So that's uh, what we accomplished. Uh, but that uh, essentially two hour session was not recorded. Uh, I didn't realize that until it was too late. But yeah, it was not recorded. Uh, this is what we have. So we have basically the antithesis of what we were trying to accomplish with Dialogue Manager, but with uh, Dialogic much faster. Uh, I think that a big part of that is the visual editor versus the text editor. Um, the text editor is the only option in Dialog Manager. At least I believe that's the case. Let me make sure I'm saying facts here. Yes, uh, text editor is the only option, which isn't a problem. Text manager is solid. Um, you know, easy to make char uh, characters in there. Easy to make uh, different alternative options and consequences. Um, so easy peasy. But the main thing was how do I reference or how do I trigger it to the next scene. I was having a real hard time with that, but with dialogue man Dialogic, I've been able to do it super quickly. Uh, and the, um, and the, um, the visual editor is just so pretty, so good, so easy to use. Um, and it like, even the way that this is broken down is like so perfect. So, so we'll be good for the next, um, 
next session. In the next session, what we'll plan to do is um, is um, go into chapter. Is it chapter one? Yes. Uh, go into chapter one, have the characters come in just as you saw with the intro level, um, and then uh, finish off the dialogue and the decision making and all that stuff. Once we have that done, then we can start to address the secondary thing of the game, which is taken from event. No, not Adventures with Anxiety. It's taken from um, Slay the Princess, which is having the mouse uh, um, move subtly. Um, and have a parallax effect um, as you move the mouse. I really like that in Slater Princess. It was just such a subtle thing to add depth to the scene. So I'll do the same here, especially because Slater Princess, similar to this game, uh, utilizes one scene. Differently is that the artwork is spectacular. It's not the, any slight to the artwork um, here. Um, the people I got this from were great. Um, I believe they're on um, free, freegameart.org. I'm, I'm pretty sure, but I'll be sure to credit them later. Um, but yeah, so no offense to them, but yeah, this will be much, um, a, a different element of it, but I really like the parallax effect. So, uh, it'll be finishing off the dialogue now that we have the scene transitions and everything. Um, and then cleaning up the scene. So like adding lights to these little things, maybe having them flicker a little bit and so on and so forth, just to really give it some level of depth and uh, weight. So that way when we're doing the parallax effect, it's also pretty, um, and then we can make the decision. So that way it really gives uh, essentially a visual novel effect to it all. So that's that. Um, that is that, and I think we, we did good. Uh, we did well during this session. Uh, the we did well during this session. What really helped is taking a step back, taking a breath, and going into the programming documentation, if you will, which is just writing out what I'm trying to accomplish. What is my goal? What it, what do I need to put in? What do I need to put out? And then the steps. And then for the steps, uh, what really made the difference here is just seeing exactly what I was seeing with the documentation, just in another way, which was a YouTube video. Um, so that those two things helped. Taking a step back, looking at a video, um, and then going from there. And then I was able to solve it uh, pretty easily uh, after that. So take a step back. If the documentation isn't helping enough, then going into the um, the documentation is not helping enough. Go into the a, an alternative thing. Sometimes you just need to hear a message or see something from a different angle, or from a different person, or hear from a different person in order to solve the problem. At least that's the case for me. So uh, so that's that, and we are good to go. So um, sad that I didn't record on the entirety of that session, but at least we got this little bit.